Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you click start here to get it to get the engine to start tracking. Go to settings. Even though at this point you may not see tracking or dots on your screen, once you do, you will see extracted points, a resolution, and your frames per second. Now make sure you enable all your accesses. You don't need dynamic pose resolution. Also, before you start tracking, make sure you have filter set to none. Under camera, uh, make sure this is your resolution for your PS3i camera. This should all be default. Frames per second, uh, enter 99. Make sure you don't do this when it's tracking, otherwise it may crash. Uh, just a bug right now. This is probably where your issue lies right now, is the threshold for detecting uh, the light waves. So if I tune mine all the way down, you see you can still see my LEDs right here, but it's not picking them up because it's not looking at the correct um, wavelength. So now that I've moved this slider up, my guy's tracking right here. Uh, what you also want to do is go in here to clip and enter your dimensions. These, uh, probably at default, are what your track clip pros got already. Uh, once you have that set, uh, you want to calibrate so that it looks at your head and where you have this mounted to your headset or wherever that may be. Uh, you don't want to move your shoulders or anything, you just move your head to the right, to the left, up, down, the range of motion you want to go. Once it stops moving or becomes more stable like I have mine here, then hit the calibrate button again it'll stop that calibration. So now it should be tuned the axis should be tuned to where your camera is looking at your point tracker plug-in. Um, beyond that, you should start seeing the tracking over here, controlled by uh, the show video widget, and also under view video widget here. Again, no filter. Uh, you want to turn smoothing all the way up. Uh, here's your inverting. If you don't turn smooth and up, you know, it gets pretty jittery in game. Here's my curve settings for War Thunder. Uh, they're pretty steep curves. All you gotta do is click to put another point here. Left click. You can drag this down to create a dead zone basically. Uh, right click to remove it. These are basically your left right look transition, translation, up down translation. This is if you roll your head left or right, and these are your additional axis translations. You know, moving your com body completely to the right or left, moving your head up or down, and then Z would be zoom in most games. And then the last thing you need to make sure of: start dummy track I R E X E. Use track I R hide free track since this game. I'm not sure, but I don't believe it natively supports free track. Um, and then once you get this tracking and working, you want to make sure you start the tracking before you start War Thunder. After that, you should be good to go.